All right, so Spider-Man reboot. Uh, uh, who's going to be in it? Some guy that was in the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. That uh, could be good, you know. Uh, nobody knew who Michael Keaton was when he was in Batman. When he was in the Batman reboot. Okay, that's not really the best joke, but you know what I'm saying. Everybody knew who Michael Keaton was. Lots of people knew who Tobey Maguire was. But who's this guy in the Imaginarium? Who is this guy who's going to be Peter Parker? Some dude. That's fine. I don't care. All right. All right, cool. Well, who's going to be the bad guy? Reese Efans. Right? Who's that? Uh, he was in Human Nature. That's all I know him from. He was in Human Nature. I think he was also in About a Boy. Oh, yeah. He, who's he going to play? The Lizard. What happened to Sam Raimi? Uh, who cares? You know? We just want to see another Army of Darkness or Evil Dead movie, and he's too busy being a real director to, to make movies that are good. You know? The Gift. Spider-Man 1. Uh, Spider-Man 2. Yeah, that was good. Spider-Man 3. All of this kind of reminds me of, of the way things were in the past. A way that I've that I hope that we had grown out of, you know, Alien, awesome, Aliens, yes, Alien Cubed, what, they killed Hicks, they killed, huh, they killed Hicks, they killed Newt, what, she's in a prison colony, and Rock is there? Uh, right? But it's David Fincher. He directed all those Madonna videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Uh. Oh, wait, wait. We've got, the next, we've got the next movie in the franchise, and it's being directed by the guy who did Delicatessen. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Alien Resurrection. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Right? Uh, b don't worry, uh, there's a, uh, there's another, there's another Highlander sequel coming out. Oh, yeah, Highlander 2 was so good. I know a lot of you have heard all of this, like, 15 years ago, <laughs> and you're like, well, what's he talking about? What are these movies? Uh, is, or, uh, or, is this like, um, you know, like, uh, does any of this pertain to, like, the career of Ryan Gosling? I don't even know who that is, you know? Like, for those of us who were born... In the uh, in the seventies, like I'll, I'll give people about as as late as uh, nineteen uh, eighty or so. I know, like I know Scarlett Johansson is out there, and she's totally clueless as to what's good and what sucks. You know, she's she thinks uh, Woody Allen is a good director. You know. Anyway, so like, let's see. Right, so uh, so yeah, for those of us who grew up through through the '80s and '90s, we saw the progression of of Hollywood making some better choices. Um, give all of the money to the good directors: Tarantino, Paul Thomas Anderson, um, Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, we loved Desperado. We liked Pulp Fiction. Uh, Jackie Brown was all right. I kind of had lost faith in Tarantino after uh, after I found out Reservoir Dogs was a ripoff of Ringo Lam's City on Fire. You know, I, I know, like, there's this weird thing going on where people are trying to repackage news. Like, Film Threat broke that story back in 94, I believe. And, uh, and now, like, uh, some other um, internet uh, news channel is trying to re-break the story. Oh, did you guys know this? It's, it seems strange that, uh, that the current generation is clueless about so much stuff. I feel that people aren't doing the proper job in bringing everybody up to speed with what's been going on so far. Like, um, I feel I have to be, I feel that I would be doing a great service to the universe by bringing all of the younger generations up to speed. 
Um, Justin Bieber. I'm, I've seen maybe about two seconds of this person, and all I have to say is Joey Lawrence. Does anybody know who Joey Lawrence is? Hello, I'm a man from another universe. It's called Five Years Ago. <laughs> Help me. I'm trapped in a universe where things didn't suck quite so much. Did I say five years ago? I mean seven years ago. Ah, uh, 2003. Remember Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, everyone? Isn't it funny how that movie is like some sort of uh, buoy? Or uh, is it a signpost? Hmm. I think it's like, uh, that's it. It's a marker. Weird. Hi. I ate something a few minutes ago. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, that was kind of the last good movie that, uh, that came out in theaters, pretty much. Um, you know, uh, Charlie Kaufman and Spike Jones and Michel Gondry were like the last hope that the old way of thinking had, and they dropped the ball. The Science of Sleep... No thanks. I don't need your trash. Oh yeah, it's all mixed up and it's the day's memories. We don't need that garbage. We all know that it's it's not uh, some sort of it's not what you eat that makes dreams. Dreams are where the spirits in the spirit world reside. Uh, most of us know this already. I've broken the story recently. And after you break that story, movies just seem so much more stupid. I threw in Solaris a few uh, a few minutes ago, or a few <laughs> a few minutes ago, about a thousand. Now, uh, I threw in Solaris uh, last night, and uh, I can barely watch it because obviously, obviously the main character is dead. And he's in the dream world, and they're just, uh, you know, throwing things at him, confusing him. And he's like, how is this possible? And it's like, dude, you're, you're dead. You're never going to get off the space station, you know? So, like, like, um, let's see. Ah, so Spider-Man reboot. I guess uh, Sam Raimi doesn't get another Raimi? chance after Spider-Man 3. Yeah. What? We're talking. You're not even in, uh, in. You're not even in bed yet. Good for you. I'm not even talking loud. I'm gonna leave that in because, you know, classic. It's one of my housemates trying to tell me not to talk talk too loud. Oh yeah. Life. Hmm. I have no idea what zone I'm in. In the am I in the omega? Am I in the omega zone? Hold on. <laughs> am I in the omega zone? Fuck if I know. Maybe I'm in the beta zone, or the zeta zone. Definitely not in the alpha zone. Is pi a letter? <laughs> anyway. Moving along. So, uh, yeah. I was able to get a few more minutes into this, uh, this episode. Um, let's see. Spider-Man 4. No, I mean Spider-Man Reboot. Woo. Now, are they gonna reboot the Batman series? Because that sucks. What are you talking about, Greg? Alright, you know what I'm waiting for, guys? I'm waiting for an R-rated Batman movie. Oh, it's never gonna happen. Okay, what about an unrated Batman movie? Uh-uh, uh What is wrong with America? Ew. You know what I'm saying? Maybe... Alright, check this out. Spider-Man, starring... 
Hmm. I kind of don't care about Spider-Man anymore. 